Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Oh, my apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Because he's so great, thinks his trade is honest and divine. As well as an honest employment, so is mine. He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way up. And for it is but fitting that we should protect and encourage. I already have. Since we live by him. So, Black Maul, that sick word of trial, comes on in the afternoon, and she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. As the wench is very active and industrious, you may satisfy her that I'll soften the evidence. Tom Gag, sir, is found... A thousand pardons. Oh, my apologies. I told him what would come to if he did not mend his hand. This is death without reprieve. I may venture to book for Tom Gag. Now, that Betty Slino I'll save her from the transportation, so I can get more of my stay in here. Betty has brought more goods into our loftier than any time of the day. And in truth, it is a pity to lose so good a customer. If none of the gang take her off, she may, in the common course of business, leave her 12 months longer. I love to let women escape. A good sportsman always lives the end of our children's life. Haytham, you should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. 
but then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. This book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is. Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We've booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. <laughs> 